some. You see Nedu? What happened, man? Just tell me where he is, man, all right? You did it. Tommy, you see Eddie? Tell him I want the money, or his dad's name, and I'll get direct. Do you hear? I hear. Pocket money, come and get it. Seven fifty. Each is extortion. No bribery. Can you give me a hand at Safeways, darling? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. You're in a good mood. Did Imogen tell you she got into her drama school next summer? Oh. My check passed the audition, did it? Going to work today. First, I have to see the police. Give a proper statement. Tell me exactly what happened. I have. Okay. Ten. It'll be all right. screaming and shouting and all sorts. He was hammering on the door, but she wouldn't let him in. Well, I wouldn't have either. Have you seen him before? I first saw him about a week ago, maybe. He was sleeping out here on the landing. I didn't like to say anything. As I say, he looked a bit rough. And you don't know his name? Eddie. Eddie Doyle. He's been sniffing round Nicky for a while now. But she didn't want anything to do with him. I never liked him either. God. It doesn't surprise me what he's done. Miss Penny. How are you? Sit down, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm expecting friends. So you finally bought some. How nice. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear the news this morning? Was I in it? No. Nope. Well, then. Remember that secretary we had recently? Um, Nikki. The Bolshe one that Cliff fired. She was found battered to death in her flat last night. Came back in the middle of a burglary, apparently, and that was that. That's awful. Hmm. In Primrose Hill. I just heard it on the radio. They know who did it. The police? Are you kidding? They're appealing for leads and witnesses, etc., etc., in so many words. Sometimes one doesn't feel safe anywhere. I'm sure you've heard this on the bill, Miss Penny, but may I remind you that withholding evidence is actually a crime. That he didn't do it. I know he didn't. Which is why you kept his name out of it. it didn't seem important. An ex-convict, a couple of weeks out of prison, turns up out of the blue, invites himself into your flat, falls for your flatmate, who is then brutally murdered after a huge row with this man, and you don't think that's important? Tanya, we're not accusing him yet. We just want to rule him out. There is physical evidence, some skin under Nicola's nails. Eddie could come forward and clear his name. I still don't know where he is. Could I ask about your feelings for Eddie? It's not your business. Your friend has been murdered, Tanya. This is as serious as it gets. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go over it again. those people? No. If you're going to be as moody as this for the rest of your life, I'm sorry I told you not to resign. You should bloody well pack it in and become a poultry vaccinator. Or something. They know all about you. In fact, they think I'm hiding you. You've got to see them. How? I mean, didn't you... Yeah, I stuck to my story and looked a real prat. I'm sorry. No one followed you today. I don't think so. But whoever did it left evidence, so you can just go in and get it all sorted out, OK? Yeah, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Look, what's going on, Eddie? Nothing. What were you fighting about before she got killed? Nothing. Mrs. Border said you were. Yeah, Nikki was in a bad mood when I got round there. and I was tired, and I got pissed off as well, so I, I went out for a walk to calm down and, and wait for you, and... then I came back and I... And I found her. Okay. So what's the problem? I don't trust them, that's all. They, <gasps> they twist things. Oh, okay, fine. You don't trust them, but I have to trust you. Okay, fine. But I'm not going in and lying anymore. I've had it. I'm not asking you to. Just, just don't tell them where I am. Until they find the bloke that did it. I'm scared, Eddie. Me too. I bet you're sorry it happened to Nikki and not me. Sorry. Trust me. Please. Why? Why not? You didn't have to come in today. Keeps my mind off things. Are you sure? Not really. Inspector Atkinson, please. Well, whatever you want. I, I'm going out now anyway. I've got a pile of flats to show. OK. Right. Well, thanks. There's a real stampede on Inspector, today. it's Tanya Penny. Listen, I know where Eddie is.
was thinking. You went and got us sacked on Friday. And I wouldn't have gone back early, found Leo and told you. And you wouldn't be in the shite like you are. It's a great comfort to me, that thought, Tommy. Shut up and give us a beer. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Bad news. The Gestapo's been round ours looking for you. And so's Leo. He wants his money. Have you got it? No. <laughs> that is more bad news than I thought, man. I got her killed, Tom. Look, it wasn't deliberate. That's between Leo and your real dad. Doesn't matter. Look, forget all that. You're in enough shit as it is. We've got to think. So what's the good news? Well, there isn't any. If you hand yourself in, they'll nail you. If you don't, they'll find you. Can't shop Leo or your dad without shopping yourself. If you do, they'll finger you anyway. I don't even know why she was killed. What's that matter now? It's all that matters now. I didn't expect anything to happen. I, I need a bit more time. Later tonight. I haven't got all the money. Oh, whatever. All right, listen. Tell me, why did you want her killed? We shouldn't meet. Your face is all over the papers. <laughs> what a nuisance for you. I'll get the rest of you as soon as possible. I'll be in touch. You don't seem very chuffed. Aren't you chuffed? You were caught. I didn't even do it. So tell me, why did you want her killed? Was any of that stuff you told me true? Take the money and get out of the country. I might. Was it? It doesn't matter now. Well, it does to me! Yes! She deserved what she got. Do you think I'd do this for fun? Tell me everything. I want to know everything. You're in trouble. Take the money and run. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble? I prefer we. So much more comfort in all that togetherness. There's nothing between us. That was the point. Goodbye. If only you weren't my father, we'd be laughing. You're my father. 1970. Germany knocked us out of the World Cup. You had it off with a Madeleine Jones. A little fling and here I am. But here we are. That's what I came to tell you, but I... But I was scared. And look what you've done to me. You stupid... Stupid little shit. 
Yeah. See you in court, Dad.